Would you dare to question the validity of almost all mathematics? This is the story of someone who did. It's the story of the disbeliever. Some things sound far too absurd to be true. And yet, highly educated people believe this stuff. First up is the idea that 0.9 recurring can equal 1. Almost all mathematicians believe it does equal 1, and that we can prove it using many different arguments. But to many people, these arguments sound like pure gobbledygook. So let's fly in the face of the experts and argue against 0.9 recurring equals 1. Let's be a disbeliever. Mathematicians will spurt out some clever sounding argument. But when we unravel what they are really saying, it sounds more like a religion than down to earth logic. It means by the definitions and rules in their holy scriptures that 0.9 recurring equals 1. It is the same as arguing that Darwin was wrong because God created man and this can be proven given what's written in Holy Scriptures. For 0.9 recurring equals 1, they claim that real-world evidence is irrelevant. The only thing that matters to them is what's written in their mathematical scriptures. They will claim that mathematics doesn't depend upon the real world. For them, a system of mathematics depends upon axioms, definitions and rules of logic, all of which are as fictitious as a fairy tale. From the viewpoint of a disbeliever, this sounds like madness. If the basis of mathematics is a bunch of made-up fairy tales, then the basis of mathematics is obviously flawed. If we are allowed to make up definitions and rules, then we can prove anything we want to. This approach makes a complete mockery of mathematics. And even if we accepted this approach, then the chosen logic behind 0.9 recurring equals 1 is so bad it's like choosing logic to support the statement that evolution is wrong. Mathematicians claim that consistency is all that matters, not any connection with physical reality, so for them it's fine to believe in fairies and ghosts, as long as everything we say about them is consistent. But that's not good enough for a disbeliever. We need physical proof that these things exist. Otherwise, we claim it's perfectly reasonable for us to disbelieve mathematician statements about fairies and ghosts. And for exactly the same reason, we claim it's perfectly reasonable to disbelieve their statements about 0.9 recurring being equal to 1. It's fine to theorise about written fairy stories or image ghosting on a TV or computer screen because these things can exist in our shared physical reality, then any theories about these things can be tested using real-world physics. In the same way that counting numbers can relate to physical objects, surely there should be a way for 0.9 recurring to relate to the real world. In summary, the disbelievers' three main arguments are that non-physical objects do not exist, that we can't conceive of the infinite, and that it can't be a valid approach to simply reject any argument we don't like. As disbelievers, we will use real-world logic, and that logic is as good as logic can get. But we'll still struggle to convince the mathematicians, because they will completely reject our logic based on real-world physics. They believe infinity is a valid concept. They believe that the only rules that matter are the ones that they have made up. And they insist that we must accept their strange system of weird rules, and they will completely refuse to even contemplate that the whole basis of their so-called real number system might be flawed. They could define all the terms and rules for a ghost belief system. They could do this in a way that makes the phrase Ghosts go through walls appear to be a valid statement according to their belief system. But this just goes to show how absurd the approach is, because by that method we can literally prove anything we want to. So how can it be valid for them to claim 0.9 recurring equals 1 
when they've simply made up all the rules. As disbelievers, our core argument is that only real-world logic can be shown to be valid, and we think that validity is what really matters, not consistency. By our logic, 0.9 recurring can't have a constant value, but it can have a valid real-world meaning, as being the description of a process. The mathematicians say we must accept their definitions and their rules, but we don't accept them. This is a really important part of our argument that they just don't get. Their position is like a belief in ghosts. We are discussing the validity of 0.9 recurring equals 1, and validity doesn't mean consistent given some made-up rules. The only way to prove that something is valid is through empirical evidence in our shared physical reality.